There's a new strain of dog flu being reported in a number of states, including South Dakota, and the illnesses are serious and even deadly. In tonight's Eye on Catherland, Don Jorgensen finds out what pet owners should be looking for and what they should be doing to better protect their pet. At Precious Pets, <laughs> they have a lot of concerns about the new strain of dog flu. It's a, a new, new a disease that we really don't know too much about. Tom Gunlicks has been boarding dogs for 24 years and has seen all kinds of viruses and illnesses. But this latest strain of dog flu has him baffled. I think I have, but it's kind of like when COVID first came out. I think there were several people I knew that had COVID before they said what COVID was. So we're kind of going, th going through this now with this dog flu. Just like COVID, this strain is spreading quickly in a number of states. As a serious respiratory illness, it can be a real threat to your dog. This one's a bit of a mystery yet, and they really haven't quite put a name on it. They haven't really identified this particular virus and where it came from. Veterinarian Dr. Dick Rogan of Horizon Pet Care in Brandon says the symptoms are very similar to other strains of canine flu and kennel cough, coughing, lethargy, and loss of appetite. While there are vaccines for both of those viruses, this one is different. There's no vaccine for it, and there's no real treatment for it other than supportive care. Meaning, do the best you can as a pet owner to make your dog feel loved and comfortable. Dr. Rogan says just like humans, younger puppies like Chevy here and older ones are at higher risk. Most of them are getting very sick. Not that many are dying, but, but the ones that they die, you're hearing about. Dr. Rogan says there are some things you can do, though, as a pet owner to protect your dog. You want to stay away. Just like when we, had, when we first had COVID and we had social distancing, dogs really do need to go so, have some social distancing. If your dog doesn't feel well, your dog's coughing, don't take them to the kennels. Don't take them out to the brew pubs. Don't go down to the dog park. Dr. Rogan says he has a lot of clients who are concerned and has been fielding calls daily about the new flu. But he says this is not the time to panic. And that's the same advice gun legs would offer as well. I understand that vets and other people are warning their, their clients to be careful of it, and, and I totally empathize with that, not offended by it. Uh, if it was my child, I'd want to take care of my child. If it's my dog, I'd want to take care of my dogs. Your dog could pick this up by going to a dog park. Your dog could pick this up by walking your dog in the neighborhood because, again, it's out there. And it doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon. And it's, it's frustrating as a veterinarian because we want to be able to give you this medicine or this medicine or treat it in this way and it'll go away. And we're not getting that kind of response. With Eye on Kettleland, <laughs> I'm Don Jorgensen. And to learn more about the dog flu, the symptoms to look for and the severity of it, we've attached a link under this story on kettleland.com.